what is up guys today we got the outlander out here and i figured since the razor highlifter has been getting all the attention here lately and uh y'all haven't seen that video yet but y'all see it probably after this one so be looking forward to that it's gonna be great but um we got the outlander out here figured i'd show it some love so y'all probably seen in the last video where we did the halos they are working good looking good if you can't tell we got the front rack off so this being a 2018 model can-am 850 xt has seen some abuse from the mud and sand and all that stuff and the paint wasn't just looking the greatest so i went and uh did a little correction on the paint and I also did some uh, ceramic coating. Now this stuff is pretty cool. I just washed it off because it had all kind of pollen all over it. And I didn't feel like working on it with pollen all over it. But check that out. And it just runs off of there. So it's basically like a wax, but it's a lot stronger. You just have to uh, research this stuff, but it's really great. Being a painted four-wheeler, it really helps out on washing it up and uh, keeping it looking real glossy and shiny. But yeah, we got one more thing I'm going to add to it today. That's going to be some new tires and wheels. Now, these wheels that I've got, I've rode on these for, I'd say about a year, maybe a little more. They're ITP Cryptids 30s. So uh, the new tires are also ITP Cryptid 30s, but it's with a different style rim, so it's going to look good. These had a little bit of wear and tear on them, so we're going to hook this Outlander up with some fresh set of tires. And hopefully some of y'all guys on here can help me out. I've had this since 2018, uh, the first year uh, my diff was just rent. it took on water. I didn't catch it fast enough and it pretty much ruined the uh, pinion seal and the I forgot what it's called but um pretty much just ruined the diff so I got a new one in it it's from Can-Am also and it's uh it's been giving me a lot of trouble so what I'm wanting to do I need a bulletproof diff so if y'all could recommend what y'all have and tell me some good places to look at get some prices on a good rear diff i want something that is not going to give me trouble and something that will keep up with the style of riding i do i don't really have big tires i just like to send it kind of on a stock setup but um yeah so let's pull this thing under the carport and let's get to swapping these tires out the tires that we got so they're pretty much the same thing it's kind of a funny story these came off of a Can-Am Defender XMR these also came off of Can-Am Defender XMR so <laughs> one of our uh, buddies bought one and I got these tires off of them brand new so that'll probably help the Outlander hook up a little better but uh they're pretty much the same rim and tire, but the uh, it's got a shiny gloss black finish instead of this uh, brushed and uh, black. So I like that look better. I think it'll look better on the Can-Am. So let's go ahead and put these on. So... I did have uh, Outlaw 2's on this thing before these, and uh, I really liked Outlaw 2's, but for some reason, these seem to do better in the mud and on the sand, and they just hook up a lot better than the Outlaw's. Now, don't get me wrong, the Outlaw's work great, but um, I can count 
a lot of times where I was stuck in the same places and then I went through the same places again at a later date and these cryptids uh, took me on out. So I'm a pretty firm believer in the cryptids. That's kind of why I went back with them. So let's get this stuff out. I believe it is a 17. Pretty much like a NASCAR pit crew. No. But I'm gonna go over here and grab this other tire and we'll put one on. So for having these for over a year and riding them a pretty good bit, they're not really worn out at all too much compared to these. These are gonna be a little better because uh they're brand new but you can see there ain't really too much wear. Alright, so we got this one on. Let's tighten these lugs. definitely going to be a different look I think it's going to look a lot better because uh, my Outlander doesn't really have any uh, other brushed aluminum things on it it's more of like a burgundy looking color and black all around so I think this will look a ton better on these So I'll just uh, put the rest on and we'll check out what it looks like. There they are. I think it looks a ton better with all black wheels. I like that a lot. So, let's rip this thing around the yard real quick. That was fun. Got a little back bumper action. <laughs> but anyways guys, 
do me a favor subscribe to the channel like this video and uh don't forget to stay tuned for the razor build video i think you're all gonna like it well i guess i could give you a little sneak peek on what i'm doing real quick maybe y'all saw it maybe y'all didn't <laughs> but, uh until next time we'll see y'all guys later Thank mm -hmm. you.